All right, we're going to take a ride to the post office so I can check my P.O. box. This is Thursday afternoon, November 19th, a week away from Thanksgiving. And to let you know how what I'm willing to go through to do this for you guys, <laughs> I have to mute Tom Petty Radio. Because all the way out, I mean, I love Tom Petty. I love this, this station on Sirius. So I'm going to mute it so I can drive you guys to the post office box. So let's get through the gate. Let me go lock it. Alright, so I'm going down the driveway. And yes, I need more gravel. So, hear that? Damn it. As soon as I can get some money, I'm going to buy some more gravel. But now I own, you look all the way down there, where the road curves around, I own all the way around, you take that all the way down to the next curve going back, and it's all my property. And then there's my mailbox, and this is the front of the property. You can kind of see the cabin, depending on what the sun's doing. But we're kind of hidden, and we're very secluded out here. This is my road. I'm gonna be switching hands because my arms will get tired. And I'm sure I'll be speeding up part of this. This is about a 10 minute drive. But it's all gravel roads until I get into Cumberland. But this is all my road. very pretty in the spring and summer but it's a whole lot easier to see everything during the fall and winter that's why I'm doing it now That's a, a new neighbor. All these are relatively new out here. Um, because all this property was sold in the last, you know, 10 years. Old barn. <laughs> These people bought this. I almost bought this corner here. I really liked it. And I almost bought it. But I like where I am. I seldom ever have a car go down my road. And then there's two friends of mine that live down this road back through here. And then this is a... Another weekender like me, you know, he'll be building out here soon. And that's new. That's the property I showed you that was for sale that had the cabin on it a few years ago. I did a video on that. But you can see it's gone.
houses were out here when I moved or when I bought the property out here. But you can see we're still up on top of the hill. You know, I'm at one of the highest points in the county. Probably the top of my barn is one of the highest points in the county. Hopefully the sun doesn't mess up too much. cistern this place up here on the left would be the ones delivering the water so it's like a four or five mile drive <laughs> where they would come out and fill up my cistern and they're also a beef and a cow dealer This is what it's like out in the country, folks. <laughs> the people there, I think those are Amish back there that are putting a place together. I'm not sure. You got places like that everywhere. They're nice views. And, well, you probably can't see it from here, but. That's Cumberland, way back there. <laughs> That's where I'm headed. You can see some of the houses there, maybe. Oh, somebody's rounded up all their cattle. There's Cumberland, all the way over there. That's new.
I'm secluded and live out in the country. I'm not kidding. get ahead of me so we're not riding through his dust clouds but it's really nice out through here I think that gives a better picture Population is about 600 or 800, something like that. But that's my address, Cumberland, Ohio. This pretty much <laughs> turns into the main drag of Cumberland. Hall. I think the only store in town is up here. 
I mean, we're, you know, 15 miles from, you know, Walmarts and all those things. About six miles from a dollar store going in the other direction. But this is our post office. So, hope y'all enjoyed that ride.